Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to find diamonds in Minecraft Xbox One and Minecraft PS4. So mining is one of my favourite things to do in Minecraft, it's half the name, Minecraft, and uh, basically finding diamonds are the rarest find, and even if you know what you're doing and you're using this technique, they're still only found once every like 10 to 20 minutes. So if you have no idea what you're doing, they can be nearly impossible to find, and I figured I'd help you guys out with how to actually find the diamonds, because uh, it's something I do every now and then, because mining's just kind of my speciality. So uh, yeah, let's teach you guys how to do it. So the materials you're going to need, you're going to need an iron pickaxe because you need iron to mine diamonds. You're going to need an iron shovel and iron sword, preferably. Uh, they just help you out with surviving underground. And you're going to need a map because this tells you what Y level you're at and it, it really, really helps you out. And you, you'll understand in a second. So, yeah, what you're gonna, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to get yourself really far down, close to bedrock. So, just mine your way down all the way to bedrock. Uh, make a safe way down, of course. Use a ladder or something. Don't just dig down because it generally ends you up in lava. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just dig yourself down until you find your city. As, as I just said, you generally end up in lava. Uh, dig yourself down to your uh, roughly y equals eight. So uh, basically, the way diamonds spawn is they only spawn at the bottom fifteen levels of the ground. And between uh, levels like four and levels, uh, t I think it's twelve, uh, there is the maximum number of diamonds to be found. So if you go somewhere like eight-ish, somewhere right between those two numbers, uh, you're gonna find the maximum number of diamonds. So now. Now, once you've got to this level, uh, just digging forwards is, you know, technically a strategy, but the best way to find the most times... Oh, we've just found diamonds. Oh, no, that's not diamonds. Uh yeah, uh, you can just dig forwards, but the best strategy you want to do is called branch mining. So, a lot of people confuse branch mining with strip mining, which is actually a lot less efficient, uh, and we're going to be talking about why branch mining is so great and how you can do it. So basically, first thing you want to do is you want to dig yourself a 2x2 two two tunnel, just dig this as far as you want to go. Uh, this can technically be 1x1 one one and it'd be less wasteful, but the, if you make it like this, it makes it a lot more visible and it also looks better, and also just, you know, it means you can actually find your way back because you've got the big 2x2 two two tunnel. Now once you've got this going, also let's, let's get some torches out. Now, once you've got this going, uh, you need to then dig in each direction and uh, just keep going for as long as you can. So let's, uh, if you want, like count yourself to 100 or something. Uh, it can get kind of dull just digging each direction. So as soon as you get bored of digging in one specific, specific direction, and technically if you want to get all the diamonds in the world, you should keep going all the way to the edge of the map. But yeah, if, if you get bored or you feel if you hit the edge of the map, or if you're just like, I feel like turning around, then you'd be like, okay, there are clearly no diamonds this way. And then you go this way. So then you uh, head this way. And you mine this way and whatnot. And basically the reason this is so great is because it means that if you look around you, uh, you're uncovering loads of blocks that could be diamonds. So even though uh, only, I think it's three blocks per chunk are diamonds, which means you've got a really low chance of actually finding it. Uh, because you're going through so many blocks, so if you look, um, oh, <laughs> so much gravel. Uh, you can just ignore gravel if you want to, by the way. But yeah, so... um. If you look above me, uh, there's a block there. If you look to my size, there's two blocks. If you look below there, there's two blocks. And then there's the floor below me. And all of these could be diamonds. So since I'm digging just through so many pure blocks, I've just got such an amazing chance of finding diamonds. So now comes to the clever branch mining that only I do, and it's actually a really clever uh, advancement that you won't hear anywhere else. So basically what you want to do is what most people say is if you're branch mining is to do two blocks in between each branch mine. So this means that every single block, so if you look here, I, I can see this block, this block, and then on the other side, I can see those blocks too. Uh, then you can see every single block, which means you won't miss out if there's like a single uh, vein thick of diamonds. But if you leave three blocks between each uh, branch mine, so you go one, two, three, so one, two, three. And then you dig like this. This means you're going to find more diamonds because you're digging roughly, you're seeing the same number of blocks. But if a, if a vein of diamonds is in this middle block that you can't see, it will generally be on one of the two sides. Meaning you can find more diamonds this way. It's only like by a factor of 10 or 15%, but it's the best way to find diamonds. Uh, if you have any clever mining tactics, like using a diamond pickaxe for efficiency, uh, then you can of course go faster. But basically, the only way to fast mine is to use the branch mining technique and to use three in between each mine. So... Assuming we find diamonds by now. As I said, even if you're doing this technique, it can still take a long, long time to find diamonds. Diamonds are very, very rare, and that's the reason that they make the best armor, the best tools and whatnot. So let's just keep going. Um, and I'm scared I've just gone past them at some point in the video, but let's just hope that's not the case. So yeah, this is how you find diamonds in Minecraft Xbox One and Minecraft PS4. Uh, it works for the PC or for the last-gen consoles, if you ever use it then. And it's a really handy thing just to know. So look at all these ores I found just while I'm looking for them. Uh, it's also handy for finding those, by the way. So yeah, lots of redstone, lots of Cole and lots of, uh, you know, diamonds eventually. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial teaching you how to mine diamonds in Minecraft next gen. Uh, if you want to see a, a seed with lots of diamond corners already, because you don't want to mine, you know, look for them, uh, you just want to kind of, oops, fell in lava. <laughs> if you just want to, you know, go to some corners and mine them up, then you can do that too. I definitely recommend checking out that video. I'll link it in the description as soon as it's made. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it. Share it if you really liked it. If you have any ideas for my, you know, weekend madness of Minecraft Xbox One videos, let me know. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.